double the pleasure, double the fun. Of course, today here on Pitbull's Globalization, we've got Nikki and Brie Bella, as you guys know, the Bella Twins. Welcome. Hello. Thank you. So I know you guys took some time off and now you're back with an amazing podcast, which uh, is on the Stitcher platform. Yes, we're so excited. The Bella's podcast. You know, it's crazy because the six months off, Nikki and I, we were we we're really missing it. We knew we needed like just a little pause in life and just kind of refresh. I think it helps you get, you know, your creative juices flowing again, kind of figure out where, what's our next direction. But every week we'd say just feels like something's missing in our life. It's true. And it was super hard, especially for me, um, being a new mom and adjusting to that life. And then Artem off with Dancing with the Stars. So I really benefited from it because I was like, I need this time to learn how to be a mom, keep my son alive, but then also partnering up with Sirius XM and Stitcher. We're yeah. like, okay, we need to make this bigger and better. Well, let me ask you this. How in depth do you guys get on the podcast? Oh, oh gosh. We I don't like, we get back. so deep. And at times I feel like we don't even have enough time because we should be going even deeper. And it's funny. Cause I was talking to Bree's husband the other day and he's like, you know, the positive thing about you too, it's that you're so open. And he's like, and it's literally has helped you build a career. He goes, but then the negative is like, Artem and I are like with you girls and you guys are so open. And I'm like, I know Artem and I have had to have a talk about that because yeah. he's adjusting to the new, just of being with someone who's so open and just talks about everything and anything. And you know, yeah, our podcast is pretty much like if you were at sitting at happy hour with Nikki and I, right? Like we just talk about life and like things that are going on, whether it's in our life, it's in pop culture, it's in our men's life. And, um, we just don't hold back. We give our opinions kind of mm -hmm. what we feel. Half the people will agree with us. Half the people won't. And that's okay. That's well, what makes the world yeah, go round. Exactly. Would you say it's family friendly or more risque? Oh, more risque. Yeah, definitely more risque. I would not listen with the kids. I mean, there's some episodes that are family friendly, well, but then we never yeah. know what Nikki's going to say. And it instantly turns it to uh, more risque. Because, you know, the po podcasting, I feel like is your time where you can be so expressive and you don't have people looking over like, don't say that, don't say this. And I do have kind of vulgar mind. I feel like I... I say what people are thinking in their head. They just are like, I can't believe she said it. I wouldn't have said it, but I do. <laughs> so Nikki, question for you. Any update on the wedding? I know that with Artem's parents being in Russia, yes. you guys are kind of waiting to be able to bring him over. What's like the latest on that? So it's hard because they just closed their borders again um, due to the new strand. I didn't realize COVID. that. Yeah. Ugh. Um, it's just, I feel like this is like my fear of starting to plan because it's like, is this going to keep happening? And that's like Artem's one wish is like, Nicole, I have to have both my parents there, which I agree with. And I agree with two. And um, I agree with three. Yeah, yeah good. <laughs> And it's, so it's just it's, really hard to plan. And it's not like we're waiting to get married to have babies. Like we already have Mateo. So I think that's why there's not an ultra rush. I do, you know, it, it's going to be fun to finally plan it and have that big day one day. Um, so I have no idea. See, cause my question to you is this, what if all of a sudden they said, okay, borders are open. Are you going to be able to plan a wedding on like the drop of a dime or what? I mean, do you have everything pretty much pre-planned ready to go? That's true. I mean, I do in my head, this is what I've told Artem. Like the reason why I always say Thanksgiving weekend is dancing with the stars is done. And they always get that weekend off and always in entertainment. No one works on Thanksgiving weekend, not even Russell. So I always know that the Saturday of Thanksgiving weekend is the safest day because no matter what, no one is working. And I know like it's a time family are together anyways, and people yeah. get the Friday off because no one works the day after Thanksgiving. So that's, that's my thought process on why that weekend and we both said no matter what Napa Valley those two Artem and I are like for sure in and I mean I have two wedding dresses that I totally would recycle in a heartbeat I still have them in storage so that's good to go yeah so I, mean, I kind of feel like you should get a new one but just me <laughs> it's my dream dress that I tried on for myself that's and that I love I so. get that um, you know, yeah. But see, if you're limiting yourself to just one specific weekend, that means that weekend already just passed. We're gonna have to wait till next year's Thanksgiving weekend to do it. And what if the borders opened in, let's say a month? 
you're going to wait an entire year in order to have the wedding or what do you well, do? I guess I could do the spring because Artem goes on the Dancing with the Stars tour and he ends March 27th. So technically, I guess I could do it in April. But then your wedding dresses are geared towards the fall. I guess I could do spring. I think I could pull off spring. If I really wanted to and I had to like substitute a few like dream ideas, I would, I could do spring. You see, because I think you need to have a couple of options available just in case things open. I mean, because if I were in your shoes and I'm sitting there waiting for the moment that those borders open, I'm not going to be like, well, we not we need to wait another year now in order to get married. I'm going to be like, let's get your parents over next weekend and let's get this done within like a week or two. Oh gosh. Yeah. <laughs> that makes me nervous then. <laughs> all of it. I'm like, Oh, wow. I mean, I'm just, listen, I'm just saying I'm no, just, but that's, that's a good point. Yeah. You're right. No, you're right. I know my <laughs> Nana keeps just telling us to go to the courthouse and she's like, I just don't understand. You know what? You could always do it that way and then have the real actual like party wedding when they can come. But at least this way, you know, you have your actual vows done said rings on and you guys are official. Yeah. It's a good point. Brie, what's going on with the show that I hear about? Um, the Real Dirty Dancing? Oh, mm. yes. Um, I'm really excited because we filmed it in August. So I'm like waiting for it to air. I know they said sometime in 2022. I think we'll be early on in the year. It's crazy because everyone got to see Nikki do Dancing with the Stars and bring out that side in her. And now everyone's going to see it with me. There's a couple of differences. Um, not working with pros. It's a celebrity cast. And um, it was, oh, I, I see what you did there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will say everyone's going to see a different side to me. I was really nervous doing it because as you, everyone's seen the movie, it's iconic, but it's dirty dancing, dirty dancing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So basically you're letting us know that it's going to be very sexually oriented. Yes. I mean, it's hard I to make too much brain space. Oh, I know. It's hard to make me blush. And I think I was blushing the whole time. Would you say it's more dirty dancing in terms of the movement or the outfits? The movement, because the outfits are straight from the movie, which were never sexy, I didn't think. Right. Sexy in their own way, because they right. had the spaghetti strap tank tops and the cute jean shorts, well, even though they were longer. Because our goal is we're trying, you're trying to win the spot of baby and the guys are trying to win the spot of Johnny. So if you go back to the film and you see you remember Jennifer Gray's character, baby. She was very conservative. Yeah. Um, you know, she was a daddy's girl. So that's how we're dressed as we're dirty dancing. There was sometimes I'm like, this is just mentally off for me. Please tell me you're doing that iconic lift. So your goal is yes, to do that. The lift is in you there. You can't give it away if you get there. No, right? no. That's There's a lot of moments. So we you try to get to that moment, right? Well, we recreate, the cast recreates all the scenes. I mean, from carrying the watermelon to everything that you remember of Dirty Dancing. And we are there where they actually filmed the movie. So um, we really made Dirty Dancing, the movie come back to life. And it was really, the whole time we all were like, had goosebumps. It's almost like you could feel Patrick Swayze's energy there and even Jennifer Gray, the whole vibe. It was awesome. Aww. Hey, Nikki, I want to, I want to know something. I know you're going to be on TV again as well soon. Judging America's Got Talent Extreme. Tell yeah. us about that. Oh my gosh. Like I got chills right when you said that. Um, to me, it's going to be one of the greatest shows on the planet because now there's finally a platform that totally showcases people's extreme side on these talents that they have. Um, I know we could see some of it, like you would see some of it either in a circus or at some shows, maybe in Las Vegas and beyond. There were so many acts that I've seen so far that I've never even dreamt of in my entire life. And not only to see what these people do that are jaw dropping, like stuff that I don't even, I mean, I'm extreme, but I wouldn't even do, but there's stories because I think that's the one thing I've always been so interested in is these people that are literally daredevils. Like, how did they get there? How did they get started? Like, you're so curious about it. And um, mm -hmm. so I like it because we we have that side to the show, but then you're going to see these acts that you can't do inside. And that's why we bring it outside. I felt so blessed and honored to be a part of this group. And I felt, I feel like it's a really good home for me. And us judges get competitive. And I think it's a different side that you'll see other than the other shows. So we have a lot of fun. Now, when it comes back to your Bella Twins podcast, are you guys going to be divulging stuff about these upcoming TV shows that you're going to be, you know, in like some oh, behind yeah. the scenes stuff? 
Oh, totally. for sure. We're going to dissect every time you see something on television. We'll bring it to the podcast that week, dissect it and let you know, because so much doesn't make TV. And you're like, if you only knew how that happened or that got there. And we're going to bring on people from both shows as guests so they can kind of talk about their experience as well. Yeah. If you guys could have any guests on the podcast, who would be your ultimate guests to have? Ooh. I know so for me, uh, Mia Hamm would be like ultimate Mia, please come on. I grew up as a soccer player and I played competitive soccer for 11 years. And I was during the time when the women were fighting for title nine in college. Our role models growing up were the women of the world cup team. And Mia Hamm was doing things that no woman, especially in the athletic world was doing. I mean, she was in the Nike ads facing Michael Jordan face to face and telling us like, whatever you do, I can do better. And it gave just us as girls, like, gosh, such strength. Yeah. And it was, she was like her living a superhero. And so she inspired me so much growing up. And that is like one person that I would just love to talk to and just talk about all things world cup behind the scenes and just a bunch of things. Yeah. I think someone who would be really great to have is Angelina Jolie. She does these short little interviews when she's promoting movies But I really would like to dissect her brain because there's something she just recently said about how all her children have brought out these different cultures in their family and she's experienced so much. But I'd like to know the balance of that. Like, what do you do with all your children and some of them being from different countries? Like, what do you bring into the household? What makes it different? Also, someone who's a mother to, I think it's six, right? But also is on the board at United Nations, takes her kids around to do all this type of charity work but yet she she's still a movie star and an A-lister, but she knows how to keep private. There's so much about her that I'm just like, and let's it, dissect it, Angelina. Let's and it's like give action us, films, you know yeah. what I mean? Just, like, let us know. We would like the script, the playbook of how you live life. I just, I would be really interested. Yeah. What else can we expect on the Bellas podcast to come out in the next year? Ooh. So we're excited because, you know, like coming up, we... We got Aubrey Marcus, who's going to be kind of like our last episode of the year going into 2022, just because, you know, he's spiritual. He's a fitness guru. He's one of those that like, I feel like everyone does dry January or they're like, January is that time when you really are like thinking about your soul. Yeah. Yeah. And he's going to be that guy that's going to give you words of wisdom, the uh, motivation and inspiration to keep at it. And then we really like Nikki and I said, we want guests who are listeners at the end just kind of like they're done listening. They're like, I needed that. I, I, I needed that some part of my life that helped me. And so we're really picking when we bring guests on and, and how we want to do it for our listeners. Cause we're really good at socially seeing what our listeners need. Cause we'll, we'll look and some are like, I'm just going through these relationship issues help. And we're like, yeah. okay, who can we bring on? To help? Oh my gosh. If you're ever talking relationship stuff, bring me on, please. Oh, we'd <laughs> we love know. to. We would I love would that. so be down for that. I could talk your ears off for hours. <laughs> I, I love, love that. Especially since you guys are in relationships and I'm not, we have a lot to talk about. Yes, oh, we yes. do. We definitely <laughs> should. Yeah. So of course the Bella Twins, uh, the podcast airs on Stitcher every Wednesday. Yes. Anything else that you want to share with our listeners? Gosh. No, just have a very happy holiday and safe yeah. season. And can't wait to ring in 2022. Twos are my lucky numbers. So I'm very excited for next year. Gosh, 2022. It's crazy. 